Hello everyone and welcome to a new oil painting time lapse and studio sessions episode 13. Before I begin, I wanted to remind you guys that I'm still having a 20% off sale at my website. The code is solstice and you can redeem it at happyd-artist.com. The sale ends July 31st. So before I begin talking about the video today, um, I wanted to quickly apologize for being a little absent. I know it's been almost two weeks since I posted a YouTube video. Um, I just got back from a camping trip with some of my friends and during the camping trip I was bitten to death by mosquitoes and got super sick. So um, I spent a week trying to recover and get some rest and also try to finish up on some print and painting deadlines. So I really, really am sorry for neglecting YouTube. I've missed you guys so much and I'm hoping to be back on a regular posting schedule moving forward. Um, today's topic of discussion, finally, is about how it's never too late to start pursuing your dreams. And I realized I had made a lot of videos catered towards a younger audience or people who are still in school, people who were in their 20s. Um, and I got a few comments from people who are a little older saying, well, you know, I already have kids or, you know, I'm already in my 40s, but I still want to do art. I still love to paint. You know, and I still do have a desire to perhaps turn that into a career one day and I'm thinking like maybe it's too late for me, I've missed my chance. So after reading those comments, I decided to make this video because I wanted to just let people know that it's never too late. And I know um, I'm currently in my 20s so I you know, don't have as much life experience and wisdom as someone who's a little bit older but um, I read this quote or the series of quotes that really put things into perspective for me so i wanted to share that with you guys and hopefully you guys out there listening to this regardless of your age will find it inspirational um, basically it is a list of various famous people and kind of um, snapshots into what they were doing before they were famous so i'm just going to start reading um, at age 23 tina fey was working at a ymca at age 23, Oprah was fired from her first reporting job. At age 24, Stephen King was working as a janitor and living in a trailer. At age 28, J.K. Rowling was a suicidal single parent living on welfare. At age 30, Harrison Ford was a carpenter. And Martha Stewart at age 30 was a stockbroker. And at age 37, Ang Lee, who is one of the most um, prolific and successful directors um, in Taiwan and in Asia. So at age 37, he was a stay-at-home dad working odd jobs. And the famous chef, Julia Child, only released her first cookbook when she was 49. And uh, Vera Wang, who was a very famous um, fashion designer, didn't design her first dress until she was 40. And prior to that, she had failed to make the Olympic figure skating team and also did not get the editor-in-chief position at Vogue. Um, Stan Lee did not, did not release his first big comic book until he was 38. And um, Alan Rickman gave up his graphic design career to pursue acting at age 42. Samuel L. Jackson didn't land his first major movie role until he was 41. And uh, Morgan Freeman didn't land his first major movie role until he was 52. And last but not least, Grandma Moses, who's a very famous American painter, didn't begin her painting career until she was 76. So I think out of this entire list, her story is probably the most um, unique and inspirational of all and after I read this I really wanted to just share it to um, the audience I have because I hear so many comments from people who sound who sound like they want to give up or sound like you know very discouraged and filled with self-doubt and they feel like they should give up because of their age or because you know of the stage they're in in their life and I really don't want anyone out there listening to this to give up or to just kind of 
let yourself um, succumb to doubt because although I'm still in my 20s, I definitely was a late bloomer. Like I did not go to art school. I didn't have any preparation for this art career. And in fact, when I, you know, decided to reset my life and start this brand new art career from scratch, I felt leagues behind, um, you know, other people who were already successful who had already had established careers i felt i was so behind them in terms of skill knowledge experience and at times it definitely was very very discouraging because i felt like i had wasted a lot of my good years like in your teens in um when you're when you're a kid it's so much easier to learn and pick up new skills and i really felt a sense of regret because i didn't practice or you know draw and paint every day when i was still young and i thought you know at this point in my 20s um i decided to get serious about art and really commit myself to practicing and improving my skills but you know i wondered often if it was too late you know like they often say that if you want to learn for learn a foreign language it's really good to start young um, or you know you see like these world famous athletes they all started playing their sport when they were little kids and for me um, while I did have a childhood passion and love to draw and paint I had many many years in between where you know I just kind of did it as a hobby occasionally instead of fully investing myself into practicing so it was very scary and daunting for me to begin an art career, not just from a lack of experience on the on the business side of things, but also I felt like my skills were so far behind. And I just remember f being filled with regret or always questioning my decisions. You know, I, I asked myself, should I have gone to art school or should I have decided earlier, maybe when I was like a teenager, um, to really take this seriously because I felt like as a teenager, I would have made faster progress and therefore I wouldn't be in the situation I am in now. And the th ultimate thing that let me out of that mindset that actually gave me some sense of, of courage and strength um, was hearing stories like the ones I just told. Um, at the time, I did not have or I, I hadn't discovered, you know, this list of fun facts about celebrities yet, but I looked at the people around me. Um, I had several friends who had quit their jobs in their 20s to try to start their own companies or to, um, I had lots of coworkers, vice versa, who quit their jobs to um, go back to school and learn something completely different from the field they were working in. And most of all, I had, I think my, my biggest role model was my, my own mother. She, um, in her 30s, had decided to switch careers and move our entire family overseas into a foreign country. She had um, my dad and I and also a brand new um, career path that she had to tackle and she had to balance all of it at the same time. And it was something completely different from um, what she was doing before. So I looked at all these real life examples of strong people who were in my life, who, whom I had a lot of respect and admiration for, and they were all able to conquer that initial phase of, of fear and self-doubt and they were able to grow into their new careers. And you know, people, especially like my mom, like she had to raise a daughter and put me through school while she herself was still going to grad school. So I thought that was so motivating and when I thought back to um, all the all the examples I had around me um, I suddenly felt a sense of like calmness in myself like I knew that if if the people I love can do it then there's no excuse for me I have to try it regardless of how behind I felt like I was or how late I felt like I was um, you know I had a sense of, of, of perseverance and and confidence going into it because I had these great examples around me. So I'm just hoping that with this video, after you guys listen to it, regardless of your age or your situation, I know sometimes um, your age doesn't determine how, how tied you feel to um, your reality, right? Like a lot of my friends also, even when they were in high school or when they were young, had to take care of their siblings and, and work, you know, summer jobs. So it's not just about age. It's about any situation in your life. If you ever feel like, 
your situation is preventing you or hindering you from pursuing your dreams, just know that you're not alone. A lot of people go through this and still are able to find the, the time and make the necessary sacrifices in order to pursue their dreams. Alrighty, that about ends the video for today. Thank you all so much for your support and for commenting and subscribing, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.